Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. So before starting, we are having one question for you. In case if there will be any cyber war between US and Russia, then what do you think will be going to win? So share your answer in the comment section and we'll give you a shout out in the next video. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is related to Apple. So consensus owned crypto wallet provider MetaMask has sent out a warning to the community regarding Apple iCloud phishing attacks. The security issue for iPhone, Mac and iPad users is related to default device setting. We see a user speed phase or password encryption MetaMask Vault stored on the iCloud if the user has enabled automatic backup for the application data. So in a Twitter thread post on Monday, MetaMask noted that users run the risk of losing their phones in the, into the Apple password, isn't it strong? And an attacker is able to fish their account credential. This is huge. Let's see if there will be any update comes from the same news. Now the next news is related to NSO. So Pegasus, a notorious spyware strained from the Israeli company called NSO Group, was allegedly used to hack the smartphone belonging to the UK government including a device at the Prime Minister's office. The finding comes from the Citizen Lab, a watchdog group in the Canada that's been investigating NSO Group's activities for years. And on Monday, the group announced it has notified the UK government about the Pegasus infection in 2020 and 2021 when they were able to detect it. Now next news is related to FBI warning. So the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI, has issued an alert on a new phishing scam aims at tricking victims into making money transfer to accounts controlled by the cyber criminals. So as part of these attacks, the cyber criminals target users of the digital payment application with fake test messages pretending to be from legitimate financial institute and also asking customers to verify they has initiated instant money transfer. In short, FBI warns of reverse instant payment phishing schemes. Now the last news is coming from Africa. So hackers are pretending to poke bank staff in a web of attacks against the African financial sector. So in recent weeks, the threat actors have been spotted using recruitment emails and messages to entice individuals considering movement from the current employment to rival financial companies. And however, the email don't contain genuine job offer. Instead, they contain malicious surprise. So this is the thing that has been started in Africa nowadays, but I am damn sure it will be going to spread a lot into the entire world and especially in India. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down your feedback. You may subscribe to this YouTube channel because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.